In 1933 Berlin, there was a circus performer who traveled in a train car designed as an aquarium, along with crocodiles. An Iron Man of the past in a diving suit. The suit's name was Iron Man 2. It had electric charging and pressure protection systems. New York, 1907. Back in 1919, Charles Godefroy soared through the Arc de Triomphe in Paris with his aircraft, which had a wingspan of 9 meters. The opening of the Arc de Triomphe stood at a height of 29.42 meters and a width of 14.62 meters. In 1935, a visitor holding a candle in her hand grinned at the vast assortment of skulls present in the catacombs of Paris. In 1914, during World War I, a group of people gathered to witness a British airship flying over the port of Ostend. In 1932, Johnny Eck, an actor who was born with a lower torso that was underdeveloped, took part in a promotional photoshoot for the renowned film Freaks. The wedding of a World War I veteran who was blind, which took place in 1921. During 1939 in London, Colin Evans, a spiritualist from Wales, allegedly simulated levitation by bouncing up and down in complete darkness and capturing the act on an infrared camera. In 1933 Belgium, the inhabitants of Boren City anticipated the manifestation of the Virgin Mary near the viaduct, situated close to the Christian school, where schoolchildren reportedly witnessed her presence the previous day. During 1941, the telepath endeavored to hypnotize a chimpanzee. In 1913, soldiers employed a tactical maneuver during the Mexican Revolution. The photo captured Soviet cryptographer Igor Gazenko in 1945, concealing his face during an interview with Sol Pet from the Associated Press. Guzenko was employed at the Soviet Embassy in Ottawa and defected to the West in the same year. He carried over a hundred classified documents and crucial details about the Soviet spy network in Canada, leading to the arrest and conviction of 29 spies. As a result, Guzenko was granted political asylum and rewarded with a lavish mansion. In 1915, soldiers from the British Royal Horse Artillery rode on pack horses that were remarkably obedient, enabling them to execute impressive maneuvers as depicted in the photo. In 1915, soldiers from the British Royal Horse Artillery rode on pack horses that were remarkably obedient, enabling them to execute impressive maneuvers as depicted in the photo. On February 14, 1956, Hank Blansjark participated in exercises held at the St. Willebrordus Mental Hospital in the Netherlands. In 1925, Henri Manuel captured the faces of French soldiers who had suffered serious injuries during World War I at a banquet held in their honor in Paris. In 1939, Billy, the elephant at the Los Angeles Zoo, was shot because he had become uncontrollable. The reason for his uncontrollable behavior was his old age which can cause elephants to become unpredictable. This decision was made by the zoo staff to protect themselves after Billy's expiration date had passed. During World War II in India, British military equipment was disguised as elephants. In 1927, Adolf Hitler was seen wearing lederhosen, the traditional leather trousers of the Tyrolians and Bavarians. Due to an illness, eight-year-old Freddie McIntosh has very sensitive skin that is easily affected by sunlight. As a result, he wears a sun protection suit to shield himself from the sun's rays. In 1928, the Michelin Hour, sponsored by the tire manufacturing company, debuted on the radio as a new form of entertainment. The orchestra performing on the show was dressed in unusual and exaggerated costumes, as depicted in the image above. In 1934, in Vienna, Austria, the Heimwehr forces were mobilized and instructed to prepare for immediate action. Armored cars were deployed to patrol the main streets in case of any unrest. The Heimwehr was deemed ready for action. The Flying Black Nats member, Ivan Unger, and Gladys Roy were captured playing tennis on the wings of an airplane in flight. In honor of California's bountiful 1930 grape harvest, the affluent young women of Burbank organized an outdoor festival in the renowned McClure Vineyards. They crowned the 1930 Queen of the Vineyards to preside over the impressive $50 million yield. Wilma Smith, pictured buried in a mound of grapes, can be seen enjoying a taste of the harvest. On March 28, 1957, Dumont engineer James A. Craig exhibited a straightforward dialing technique using a fully automatic dial-direct mobile two-way radio telephone system in Clifton, New Jersey. 
This system, produced by Allen B. Dumont Laboratories Incorporated and utilized by the Richmond Radio Telephone Service Incorporated, was the initial radio telephone technology that allowed uninterrupted communication between vehicles and local telephone companies without human intervention.